Hello. Erin Campbell shared some lost Instagram posts. Um, I am like three days late though, but it's fine. The first photo is from Adrian and the caption reads, on days with back-to-back -back shoots like this, I am so, so, so grateful towards Natalie. Yes. Okay. She's like a mother figure, another mother. And I think she's better at parenting than Gabriel. In your face, Gabriel. We see her holding a water bottle, maybe a sweater. But honestly, I'm thinking this could be the scarf that Marinette gave Adrian. And I know you're like, that is not the same color scarf, Miraculously Lazy. But basically, Aaron said that some of these photos didn't go through revisions. So I'm thinking that the coloring was just really bad because they like to throw the scarf scene in randomly, like at the end of Mr. Pigeon 72. Next post is by Alia. I finally found the elusive Viperian, kind of the aloof and mysterious type, but nice enough to pose for a quick snap. Okay, this one's kind of self-explanatory. Love Luca, love the hair. Like this is the hair that Adrian needed when he was Aspic. I will never get over Aspic egghead Adrian. Like where was the hair? Why did he look so weird? No offense, Adrian, but like it was not a look. Next is Chloe's post. I can't believe I have to go to a school event on my weekend. Hashtag ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Hashtag shook. I have no idea what this school event is about, but looks like Ivan and Milen are just minding their business in the background and Chloe's sitting there complaining, obviously. I really just don't really have words for Chloe because what happened to her character arc? I think that's probably in like the top 10 mysteries of the universe. It was going so well. Okay, next is a post by Marinette. Almost done. And Adrian comments, I can't wait to see the final result. Now, I've seen Adrian comment on Marinette's other posts on Instagram, but I've never thought of it that way. Like them actually taking a literal note, Adrian's going to comment on this post. Next, we see another Marinette post. Congrats to Marks and Markov for winning the grand prize. I don't know what they won. Maybe because Max is like so smart and he literally built a robot that feels human emotion, especially when Max is like, what, 14? I don't know the ages of these characters at this point. The miraculous timeline is whack. We need to see more of Max, like Max appreciation. Okay, thank you. Um, now, oh, 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 I love Lady Noir. Oh yeah, this may be my best shot ever. Bless the zoom on this camera. Prayer hands emoji. This scene looks gorgeous. The stars and the sky is purple, not really blue. And I love that. I just love seeing um, Cat Noir looking at Ladybug because he's just so in love with her. And I like to believe Ladybug is in love with Cat Noir as well, but she's just denying it over and over. Anyway, lovely photo. I love the actual, whoa. Their hands are kind of close. Their hands are almost touching. Eee! Okay, next is another Marinette. Heading to a concert, a little more hard rock than I usually listen to, but I'm excited to broaden my horizons. Okay, can I just say that was very cheesy? Excited to broaden my horizons. Like, no, it's just too extra. I'm sorry. And we see a little double date going on here. And wait, I'm sorry, but Luca, the way he's looking into the camera. Model status? Yes. Okay, the last photo. Oh, I'm so sad. That's the last photo. Chloe taking out the trash, puking emoji. We obviously see her throwing away the ladybug suit and basically throwing away her love for ladybug, which really fits the end of the season three finale. Marinette is such a good hero. She's not perfect, obviously, but she has her priorities and Chloe's just always wants the world to revolve around her. No, actually, why am I talking about this? We all know this about Chloe. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these little photos and lazy out.